So as a former Kata48 left click mage, I can tell you that left click mage is one of the most fun game modes in Hypixel Skyblock Dungeons. However, what if you don't want to grind your entire life away for Kata48? Well in this video, I'll show you guys how you can play left click mage with low Kata level. So this video is broken apart into three different parts. First, I'll go over the gear that you need. Second, I'll go over some general strategies. And third, I'll go over which floors to actually use this on. So let's get started. So right now, this account is Catacombs21. And this is the setup I'm gonna be using, assuming I cannot use any Hyperion, Storm Armor, or anything like that. So first, I'm going to need an RCM setup. And for this, I'm using Shadow Goggles, Two Forts Necrotic Wise Dragon Armor, and Perfect Boots, paired with a Sheep Pet, and a Spirit Scepter. Okay, next for the LCM setup, I'm using a golden head. Uh, this will be like the golden head or whatever floor that you're using. Then I'm using a tarantula chest plate because this is actually better for damage than a wise dragon chest plate. And then I'm using two forts, wise dragon, and everything's reforged to ancient. Then for my pet, I'm using a golem pet. Um, you can kind of use like any decent damage pet, like a wither skeleton, tiger, zombie. And then lastly, I'm using a one for all shadow fury. Uh, I know it's a pretty expensive weapon, so you can substitute it for something cheaper like a livid dagger. And for my uh, talisman, I have them all on silky for the most crit damage, because crit damage is very good for mage. And I have my tuning points on speed, because speed is just really helpful as mage in general. Okay, so when you enter a dungeon, you're not going to be using your LCM setup, because honestly, switching armor sets to LCM for like mini bosses or something is simply not worth it. Yeah, okay, about 7.2 million. So the damage definitely isn't that great, um, but it definitely does out DPS a Spirit Scepter. So if you don't want to use a Juju Shortbow for whatever reason and you want more DPS, investing about 100 mil into an LCM setup might be a good idea, uh, but let's see how it performs in the boss. And I'll go to floor six after this, um, just to give you guys a more accurate representation of how good this will be. All right, so the, oh, what the heck? Okay, um, I just one tapped that, very interesting. Looks like my <laughs> golem pet just did four million damage to, to, the, to the professor, not bad. All right, so now we're in a floor six dungeon run and I can show you guys how LCM works in floor six. So while I'm clearing here, I'll just go over some good floors to play this in. So I think the best floors for an LCM are floors that don't require too much area of effect in the boss. So for example, I think floor 5 is a great option because you're supposed to focus DPS on one mob, which is the correct livid. So that could be a good idea there. Another floor is obviously floor 6 because of the giants and sedan. Uh, LCM is quite strong against, against those. There we go. For floor 4, honestly, I don't think LCM is a good idea because you really need a lot of RCM power from Mage to fight the Spirit Bear. And unlike M4, like bow duping is not really a thing in floor 4, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. So having someone just be able to one-tap the bear isn't that valuable in floor 4. And yeah, even with like damage talisman, as you can see, I have like 8,000 mana, so absolutely no shortage of mana. <laughs> Considering this is the party finder party from like low kata, it's actually surprisingly decent. All right, so here we are. Now in the boss, doing LCM is kind of up to you. Um, so let's see, we do three million and then the golem pet gives us some extra damage against the golems. So the damage isn't, isn't fantastic. Um, yeah, about 3 million, we can we can like 5 tap them with the golem ability. So yeah, LCM definitely isn't meta at this kata level, but I think it's definitely just a fun thing to play if you want some variety in the boss, for sure. Alright, here we go. So now the golem, this is definitely where you want to use LCM. LCM can be very strong on these golems. I mean, on these giants. Oh my god, that was fun to the sedan hold. That would not have been fun. Okay, let's try LCM on the big boy now, Mr. Sedan. Let's see. I think we're doing about one mil a hit right now, so it's not great, but it's not terrible. All right, so in conclusion, as you saw, 
LCM is definitely not the meta strategy to play at low kata. You won't really be doing that much damage. But I definitely think that if you're bored with the current mage, or you don't want to play like Juju Arch or something, then I think LCM is definitely a good option. It takes about 100 to 150 mil of investment. And I definitely think that if you use it properly, it's a really fun way to spice up dungeons. So yeah, that's how you play LCM with low kata. Unfortunately, it's not meta, but I definitely think it's worth checking out and it can be pretty fun if you play it right. All right, that's all for the video. Subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.